we're just entered the third week of the strike and uh, there aren't really any signs that it's uh, going to be settled anytime soon. Um, they've been working and bargaining, but I'm told that uh, the major issues, uh, wages, profit sharing, uh, use of temporary workers and uh, product for the four plants that GM intends to close, that those are all still unsettled. And those are big, uh, very weighty issues that are difficult to settle. Uh, so it may be a few more days, we can't tell for sure. When they go on strike, they have a big strike fund. It's about $750 million, and they start paying out of that strike fund. Um, that $750 million is kind of a war chest that the UAW shows off to the manufacturers to show them that, hey, we can last a long time uh, without being paid. But that said, it's hard to live on $250 when you're used to $1,200 or so, or even more than that with overtime. Um, so it's going to be a difficult slog for the workers. Yeah, it, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. We've been telling them for quite a while, though, because uh, from the direction of our leadership, just uh, make sure you save up because this might be the time. So the workers are going to be hurting a little bit. The company also, though, is hurting, uh, or at least starting to. The biggest area where that's showing up is, is parts at dealers. Uh, I'm told that this dealership here, uh, that they're having trouble with pretty much across the board, all parts except for maintenance items like filters and things like that. I have high hopes that we'll be getting things done. I think uh, both sides, of course, want to make sure we get this done. As long as they're talking, right? It's talking, things are moving. It's, uh, it just gets scary if they was to stop, but they're not. So hopefully sooner than later.